Words of Andrew of Crete from the 8th century. It is ourselves that we must spread under Christ's feet, not coats or lifeless branches or shoots of trees, matter which wastes away and delights the eye only for a few brief hours. But we have clothed ourselves with Christ's grace, with the whole Christ. For as many of you as were baptised into Christ have put on Christ. So let us spread ourselves like coats under his feet. from the writings of Archbishop Oscar Romero. 
for the church the many abuses of human life, liberty and dignity are a heartfelt suffering. The church, entrusted with the earth's glory, believes that in each person is the creator's image and that everyone who tramples it offends God. As the holy defender of God's rights and of God's images, the church must cry out it takes as spittle in its face, as lashes on its back, as the cross in its passion, all that human beings suffer, even though they be unbelievers. They suffer as God's images. There is no dichotomy between humans and God's image. Whoever tortures a human being, whoever abuses a human being, whoever outrages a human being, abuses God's image. And the church takes as its own that cross, that martyrdom, So as we ponder those words, we hold before God the suffering in the Ukraine. We pray for people of faith there and for the church there. As she shares in the passion of Christ. And as we pray for our own church, we pray for bishops, priests, and deacons who, in this Holy Week, renew their vows. And we pray for those being prepared to be baptized at Easter and in Eastertide. Lord, we pray for our worshipping family here at St. John's. Deepen in us holiness, commitment and joy in your presence with us. And bless all those who have asked us to pray for them. He is among us who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Therefore we before him bending this great sacrament revealed Types and shadows have their ending, for the new rite is here. 
faith our outward sense befriending makes the inward vision clear. Glory let us give and bless to the Father and the Son on all might and praise addressing while eternal ages run ever to his love confessing who from both with both is one Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us adore forever the most holy sacrament. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us adore forever the most holy sacrament. 